how do I feel about next week? Um, nervous, excited, <laughs> yeah, um, just, I don't know, it's, it's unusual feeling, it's just, you're excited, to, it's all going to, it's all coming together and happening, but it's nervous because there's so many things you haven't quite done yet, <laughs> but it's, 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 it's coming quickly, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, very exciting and very scared. Um, it's a, it's lovely. It's a happy. I'm looking forward to that day next week. I'm very looking forward to that. Wow! <laughs> so many things. Start with wet day, raining. Uh, the dress won't fit me because I put on weight. Uh, Matthew's suit won't fit him because he put on weight. Um, I don't know, my parents are late, bridesmaids late, so many things, so many things can happen, food go wrong, I don't know, so many things. Um, first met Sally on the 17th of December 2011, we had a congregation get together and uh, first time I saw her, she was um, working with a friend of mine, Scott Doherty, and we, had, we went for a coffee afterwards. And then, we, then in the evening, we had the get together, and it worked out that I ended up on her table. By accident, I was sitting on another table. And then they pushed me off, and I had to go and sit on Sally's table, which had a seat spare just opposite her. And we got chatting and just carried on talking, and did a bit of dancing in the evening, and then. Um, she didn't have a lift home, so I volunteered my car to drop her home afterwards. Um, yeah, and everything went from there. She was staying in Bethel, I got her in as a guest. Then I uh, we had morning worship, we walked across the road for me to go to work. And just outside um, IBSA house, um, I stopped her. He had a box in his hand that I thought was a, a spare of something for work. And then he just stopped me. He asked me, see the question that he said to me, do you like time wasters? And I was like, what, what, is this? what are you doing? I mean, I've got some photos with my expression, my face. I'm just asking him, what are you doing this morning? It's eight o'clock, I'm not awake yet. And, then... and the, 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 the same morning I rang up a friend of mine who is a photographer. And I said, well, I'm going to propose to my fiance this morning. I said, can you hide behind a couple of vehicles and take some photos in the car park? So I said, yeah, okay. So I walk up to the front doors just outside and I bring out a cupcake with marry me written on it in icing and the ring on top of it. And regrettably, I didn't go down on one knee, but uh, I gave her the cupcake and yeah, that was it. I just didn't know what to do. I was just speechless. Um, I just couldn't hug him because we were outside. I did hug him, but I said to him, you can't propose out here. I can't even give you a kiss or a proper hug. But it was, it was really, really sweet, very lovely. It's just three days before I go back home for a long time. So that was really something touched my heart so much. And I loved him even more. Um, Sally calls me um, cheeky monkey sometimes, um, but when we when we first started going out, when she used to text me, instead of saying sweetie, she used to say sweaty. So that that name kind of kind of stuck. So I'm I'm sweaty. <laughs> well, he called me Susu, just Sally, Susu, um, but it's kitten. He's little kitten, cheeky kitten. Oh, there is a long list of that. First of all, he is um, a fantastic, talented man. He's, he he does wood turning. He does um, he knows so many things. He you know like job things. He does plumbing, electrician, any cars, anything. He does anything, and I love that. I can see. I grew up in a house where my parents, my dad and my uncles, they do everything, fix everything with their hands. There's nothing they can't do. And I saw this part of Matthew. He's, he does he, nothing he can't fix or do. And it's amazing. He loved dancing and I love him, know how to move. I love that. Um, 
he does he play few instruments he I love his voice he doesn't like his voice but I love his voice he likes to sing from time to time um, but it's mainly dancing tap dancing he does amazingly tap dancing um, yeah he is a talented man he's a talented man and cars of course cars and knives and <laughs> Fireworks! Fireworks! Loads of fireworks! Anything explore and fire and sharp, he love it. <laughs> and I love it too. I share him that part. I love that too. <laughs> um, probably about two weeks after we met. Um, we, she'd, she'd give me her number and we'd swap numbers and we texted once or twice and then we arranged to meet together and do a little bit of ministry together. Then um, we, we, had, we, had a, we had a really good time and I just kept thinking about her and then but during the day when we'd, during the morning, we'd talked about um, baking because I like baking and I'd told her that I like um, making coffee and walnut cakes. So I thought I'd, I'd make one. So I was going out in the evening, so I made a big wa coffee walnut cake, but I just made one single coffee walnut cake on its own, a little cupcake. And then I drove around to where she was living and rang her and said, do you want to come down? And she said, okay. She said, I'm just going out myself. So she came down and I gave it to her and said, I thought oh, I made this little cupcake, uh, you know, I wanted to give it to you. And then I just went and drove off and then, I, then it all kind of started from there. I just kept thinking about it. And then, then I got ill for a little while. And then we were chatting while, while I was ill. And then we uh, decided to go for a little walk, just for a bit of fresh air, because she wasn't well either. And we went up to Alexander Palace and we had a little walk and started talking and we sat together on a bench. And then she put her head on my shoulder. And then anyway, everything went from there. <laughs> so that, that was the point where I knew that, okay, she's special. Well, he did little things. It started with the party that he was very, he, I said that I would like to be served, not to move from my table. And he just quietly stood up and went and got all these sweets and cakes in one plate for me to choose what I want. So I didn't get up. I thought that that is different. Um, and then he baked me a, a special cupcake, a little cupcake, and brought it to me. That was very charming. He danced with me, asked me for a dance, danced with me very nice. So I thought, yeah. And th so many little things after that it made me feel you're different. You know, um, yeah, I can see my life with you. I can see I, I will live with you all my life. So, yeah, grow up together, <laughs> grow old together. <laughs>